botheration. It's, it's a problem. The mother doesn't want to yell at the child. But unless she does, the child is going to do something stupid, hurt himself. So she has to do something. She has to be assertive. She's not particularly angry at the child or anything. She's just assertive that, hey, you stop that right now. You know? That's just being clearly expressive. And, and if the child thinks, mommy doesn't love me, Wah! that's the child's interpretation of the incident because of the child's expectation that mommy is always going to love me and be nice. No, mommy is not always going to be nice. She, she may always love you, but she doesn't always be, act nice. Huh? And this whole expectation of, of nicey, nicey, and guru will always be sweet, and all of this, this is completely false. No. Sometimes guru is going to tell you, hey, you're off. Huh? And uh, particularly if you violate any of the Brahminical principles like truthfulness or any of the standing instructions. Like we have a standing instruction on every email that I send to every student. There's a footer that says this email is confidential, is for the recipient only, and cannot be shared with other, others without permission. And we put that uh, disclaimer on each and every email that we send for a very good reason. Because some foolish people like to make politics and send emails, send our messages around to other people that they're not meant for. Uh, and of course, uh, by doing this, all they do is make trouble for themselves. So again, we're trying to stop people from making trouble and uh, screwing up their <laughs> spiritual lives. But of course, there's always some wise guy that has to test this and try it for themselves and see, you know, well, well why, why did he say that, you know, and do it and find out what happens. Well, what happens is everybody thinks you're an idiot <laughs> because you can't read what it says in clear, plain English on each email, not to, not to send it to others to whom it's not addressed. All you're going to do is create disturbance for the other devotees, and they're going to think that you're, you're less intelligent. You know, because we all know that this is a standing rule in our Sangha. You, you don't share Babaji's emails unless you have permission. You know, and if you, if you have a need to know, believe me, I will forward the email to you. If you need to know for your service. You will get a copy, no problem, don't you? Huh? If something comes up, then, yeah. You know. So, but if something's not necessary for your service, then it's just another distraction, just another added thing to do that, that you don't really need to do. So, by doing this, I'm saving the devotees from the distraction of having to deal with things that's not part of their service or not necessary for them to get involved in. Um, and besides, if somebody's in Maya, it's better to keep that private, keep it contained, because Maya is distracting and it's affecting and it's, uh, you know, it can bring other people down. It's like a disease. It's like a bad smell. You know, you want to keep it contained. So, anyway, this devotee decided to forward an email that I sent to the other devotees. And we were talking about it at lunch, and like the consensus was, you know, who would want to do that? Everybody knows that's against, against our policy. So it's a very unfortunate thing. But there's always somebody, you know, just like on YouTube. I mean, every single, every single uh, video that we put on YouTube some rascal has to try to make a smart comment, you know, about my weight or my glasses or what or the funny stuff on my forehead or or something, you know, that's just irrelevant to the whole point of the video, you know. I mean, it's just. <laughs> but I mean, the the funny thing is that these comments are probably the majority of the comments that we get, and so, you know. 
Every time that I see, I have an email that says, YouTube comment. I go, oh no, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I steal myself mentally, you know, like there's going to be something. Yeah. And, uh, but when, the, when somebody actually does make an intelligent comment, which is maybe 25% of the time, you know, something that we want to keep, I'm always pleasantly surprised. It's like, oh, hey. They actually got something out of this video, and they're actually responding in nicely and intelligently. And so I always reply and try to encourage them. You know, even if I take issue with what they said, as long as they reply with intelligence and you know don't say anything too foolish, then yeah, I'll, I'll publish the comment and, and reply. I reply to all the comments. Srila Prabhupada said, a gentleman always answers his mail. Srila Prabhupada had a very old-fashioned idea of what a gentleman is. Uh, a gentleman basically is one who does not give unnecessary trouble to others. I think this is a very good idea. You know, why should we uh, go out of our way to give trouble? Uh, it's only because of our false ego that we give trouble to other, to anybody, you know. Just like uh, I don't go to my god brothers and say, you know, yeah, 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 I saw Krishna, you know. I mean, that would be in such bad taste. It would really be immature, you know. It would unnecessarily disturb them. They have enough trouble as it is, uh, most of it self-created, but still, we don't need, we need to give them any more trouble. We don't need to give them any more worries than they've already got. That's good for them, and it's good for us. Keeps us from getting unnecessarily entangled in arguments and controversy and stuff like that. Just like you'll see when we go to India, uh, some wise guy will always try to pick an argument. Actually, Shiva is God. And then start arguing. Okay, well, if you want to believe in Shiva, that's fine. Hare Krishna. We don't, we don't need to get involved in all these theological controversies. You know, if, if somebody wants to believe in whatever they want to believe, practice whatever they want to practice, you know, that's fine. Go ahead and ruin your life. You know, we don't care. <laughs> it's not, no skin off our nose, you know. But don't try to preach it to any of our students, then you will get an argument and you'll, you know, be uh, told where to go pretty quick. <laughs> so uh, that's the thing. Don't give unnecessary trouble. You know, if you don't like what we're teaching, if you don't think that we have a, a good program or uh, that uh, our teaching is bona fide or whatever like that. You know, we, we don't need to know about it. Just go away. What's that? Pyrosphere. Yeah, right. Well, you go, go join Pyrosphere or something like that. Uddhava found this really funny video. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a parody. But they, it's so well done that it looks like it's real, you know. It's a, it's a Hollywood religion. And it's like, you deserve to have everything that you want. <laughs> so, you know, pyrosphere, you know, and they never explain what pyrosphere is, right? It's just all this hype, you know, that, you know, I want new curtains in my living room, pyrosphere, you know. <laughs> the new religion, you know. Just yeah. so bad. So anyway, are there any questions? <clears throat> yes, I have a question about the mother of Abhimanyu, Jatila. Jatila. What is her main rasa? Fault finding. <laughs> no, I mean from the state of the Stai Babas. <laughs> oh, I would have to say it's uh, parenthood. Of chastising, right? Yeah, she is. She is the mother-in-law of Srimati Radharani. So, because of her superior position, 
she feels it's her duty to try to protect Radharani from this rascal Krishna who tries to keeps trying to undermine her charity, uh, chastity. Yeah. So uh, she's always she's like the inspector, you know. She's always looking, finding every little fault in Radharani. And you know. the descriptions you've made, it seems to me that she likes Krishna very much, but because of her position, she has to be antagonistic. Right, right. Everybody likes Krishna in Vrindavan. You know, even Abhimanyu. He basically likes Krishna. He's basically a friend of Krishna. You know, but then Krishna keeps messing with his wife. You know, <laughs> but Krishna keeps messing with everybody's wife. <laughs> There's a question from Tiago. Uh -huh. uh, dear Babaji, please accept my humble obeisances. I think regulated serv 